Welcome to my video on how NFT owners are using their intellectual property. In recent months, the world of digital art and collectibles has been transformed by the rise of non-fungible tokens or NFTs. But what exactly are NFTs and how are people using them? In the traditional art world, ownership of a piece of art comes with certain privileges such as the ability to display it publicly, lend it to galleries, or even sell it for a profit. But with digital art, ownership is more complicated. Anyone can download a digital image and claim it as their own. That's where NFTs come in. NFTs are digital tokens that are unique, verifiable, and can be bought and sold like any other asset. When you buy an NFT, you're not buying the image or video itself, but the ownership rights to that piece of art. This means that you can display it publicly, lend it to galleries, or sell it for a profit, just like you would with a physical piece of art. So, how are people using their NFTs? One way is to display them publicly. Some people are using digital frames or projectors to display their NFT art in their homes or offices. This allows them to show off their collection and share it with others. Another way to use NFTs is to lend them to galleries or museums. Because NFTs are verifiable and unique, they can be used to prove ownership and authenticate digital art. This makes it easier for galleries to display and promote digital art and for artists to earn money from their work. Some NFT owners are using their tokens to sell their artwork for a profit. Because NFTs are unique and verifiable, they can be sold at auctions or on marketplaces like OpenSea or Looks Rare. In fact, some NFT artworks have sold for millions of dollars, making them a lucrative investment for collectors. But NFTs aren't just for art, they can also be used in virtual worlds and gaming. Some NFTs represent in-game assets or other items and can be bought and sold like any other asset. This allows players to own and trade virtual assets just like they would with physical ones. In the music industry, artists are using NFTs to offer exclusive access to concerts, meet and greets, and other experiences. This allows fans to connect with their favorite artists in new and exciting ways, while also providing a new revenue stream for the artist. NFTs can also be used to sell exclusive merchandise or other collectibles, further expanding the revenue potential for both the artist and the NFT owner. Another way that NFT owners are using their IP is by licensing it to other creators and businesses. This allows the NFT owner to earn royalties on the use of their IP without having to give up ownership or control. For example, a digital artist could license their artwork to be used in a video game or a musician could license their music to be used in a commercial. This provides a steady stream of passive income for the NFT owner while also allowing their IP to be used in new and interesting ways. NFT owners are also using their IP to support charitable causes and social impact initiatives. By auctioning off NFTs and donating a portion of the proceeds to a charity, NFT owners are able to support causes that they care about while also raising awareness for their own brand or collection. This can be particularly effective when the NFT owner has a large following or is well known in a particular industry or community. In conclusion, NFTs are transforming the way we think about ownership and intellectual property in the digital age. As the world of NFTs continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more creative and innovative uses of this technology. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to notify you of my future videos. And as always, this is not financial advice. I do not give financial advice. Do your own research. I just like to talk about crypto.